I'm going to spend a moment here and show you how to set up a property alert. So in your lead manager, you see that you can set campaigns. You'll notice if you set a campaign, it turns green. This would be a drip marketing campaign where it sends out emails periodically every few days. And you can set those settings. And I have a separate video about that here. But what we want to do is set a property alert. We want to send listings to this person. So what we do is we select it, the agent, or I mean the, um, the, the person we want to send uh, marketing to. And then we select a city that we want to use. And we can actually select several cities here. So we can select several cities, um, and it'll, it's cumulative. So it'll search in all of these cities, then whatever criteria that you want to use. So on this example, we're going to do 150 to 300,000 here. Um, we're going to leave the year built alone. Um, we're going to set uh, all property types, at least two bedrooms and baths. Um, baths is fine, any amount of baths, but at least two beds in this price range. Um, also, if you want to remove these um, that you've selected, you can just hit select the, the item and hit remove. Um, and you can select something different or you can just keep adding or what have you. Now, if you want to type a city in or you want to type in a zip code, then you turn the location drop down off there. And then you can just uh, write in a city or zip code. So what we're going to do is we're going to write in 33701 and add that one, and then we're going to add 33704. Add that one, and then we're all set. And we see here that uh, nine new listings have become available in the last two weeks in this area. Um, and in, this, in these areas and at this price range and uh, criteria, there are 111 total listings in that area, of which nine of them were new in the last two weeks. Because what this is going to do is only send new properties as they become available. So we're going to hit the next button here and hit the uh, create. OK, now we can see to edit, you click on the little pencil here. Um, if you want to edit one of those, you do that. If you want to view what you've done, click on the eyeball here. Uh, it will open it up. This is what would actually go out to the, to the client. And then if you want to send a test to yourself, write in an email address here. And if you want to send it to the person on the spot, well, then you can just cut and paste their address if you want and hit send. Otherwise, it's going to just send it to them in the morning or whenever new listings become available. So now if this is the first time that you've set up a property alert for somebody, uh, tomorrow morning, of course, it's going to be new listings because they've never received these new listings. And these are the newest ones in that price range. So there it is. Um, and let's go back here. And if we wanted to edit this, you simply hit the edit button, the pencil here. And then we can um, go ahead and load the there it goes. Load the information here. So we can add more zip codes or type in some cities or whatever. Um, it's pretty simple. Um, where we're done, if you're done, once you're done, you hit update property alert here. Uh, if you want to deactivate it, you just hit off. And then and then it saves the property alert, but it just won't send out in the morning. So that's what you would do there. All right. And that's pretty much it.